from this to this. You are all successful. Equally, each and every one of you here right now carries the same accountable success in your business. Unless you choose otherwise. It's been a, a full-on week. Um, yeah, I've been suited up all week. Tense meetings, intense clients. And um, I'm finding that it's like week on week it's been the same intensity and, um, and it can become quite exhausting when you're taking energy all the time. So um, yeah, I've decided that I'm gonna, I've packed up the van and I'm gonna do a bit of um, off-grid camping or off-grid vanning perhaps. Um, so yeah, because there's nothing more important than creating disruption in order to re-energize and refocus. But you as a thing, you don't disrupt your business, you disrupt you. You disrupt your habits, you disrupt what you do. It has to be an emotional disruption in order for then to become a, a development growth, a progressive growth in your business. You've got to work on you before you can work on your business. So yeah, so I'm... Heading off up to North Wales for a couple of days. Got my bike and I've got the dog with me here. And um, we're just gonna do a bit of off-grid stuff. Now I've not done off-grid. I've always been very kind of organized um, with my camping and uh, my van visits where I've always kind of played safe and um, stayed places where, you know, it's fairly secure. But I'm gonna do something different today because um, it just means you have to think a little more and um, and not just think more but you've really got to notice your surroundings and be aware of where you are and things and that's what brings brings a greatness to when you disrupt um, your emotional self and um, really sort of look at things in a different way so um, yeah first of all let's get myself to a local supermarket pick up a few supplies and um, and then off we go a couple of hours drive happy days Girl. Just a few supplies. Watch yourself, lovely lady. Let's get these in. Some greens and peppers. Some mushrooms. Great for frying. A bit of broccoli. We'll get that in. There she go. Yeah. Some essentials here. Getting back up there. Yeah, okay, we're on our way now. On our way, and get that in. Look at these fridges. They seem big, but they're not really. Don't get much in, really. couple of hours in now and uh, you know, the deeper you get into Wales the smaller the roads get I'm Welsh speaking but some of the names of these places are certainly a test for me to pronounce um, but yeah what I'm seeing also is that you know this these little pockets of population little tiny towns and and in there you see these small little businesses and duck eggs for sales and things like this. And, um, you know what it means is that these guys really have to think about how they create a successful business in you know, areas that are have such low population. So then of course you look in distribution. You have to think about how you get your product out there. How you become visible. I think it's great. Great the business people in these areas have to be so wide in how they think and yeah how they make these businesses successful. It's just beautiful. It is really beautiful. 
I have no doubt the wind is killing this bit for us um, on the GoPro, but I've just found this beautiful seaside resort. It just kind of sprouted out of nowhere. One minute I'm in the thick of what is Wales and narrow country roads, and next thing, look at this, it just boot. I didn't think you could see this, now it just opens up, and here we are, the ocean. Yeah, so I'm just gonna see what I can get done here, see if I can park it for the night. Take a little one for a rest break because I think she's uh, she's needing to go for a wee wee, this little dog of ours. And uh, yeah, let's see where we are. Wow. I mean, this place is just beautiful. All these sailing boats just kind of talking to each other as the wind blows. Moss cording, all those cables and I don't know, those ropes and things that hold the sails up. It's like they're moss cording each other, getting ready for the next launch, the next trip out. Just beautiful, really is. Cardigan Bay or Kyradigion. You want to say it in Welsh, but yeah, amazing. Just gonna find myself a little spot so we can uh, finish up our think tank for today. <laughs> wow, I don't know whether it's cold because it's just the ocean, whether it's, I don't know, it's just, but it's such a, it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing and that's so important to enjoy these kind of disruptions emotionally. You know, it brings us right back to a conversation of where we need to re-energize. Many people come to the ocean, you know, water is emotion. Lots of people come to the ocean to uh, just think, reset. Many people go to inland into country, you know, I'm a bit of both. I'm a Taurus, so I like, I li I'm an earthy person, but I do like the water also, for sure. So yeah, just get ourselves inside and um, let's finish up this deep dive, eh? Yeah, let's do that. So, I decided to change the plan and uh, come out of the van to finish this off. You know what, it's not very often that I get to do something like this, you know, share with you some philosophy for the noise of the ocean blasting in front of me. It's beautiful. Views of thing. We were talking about disruption and the importance of disruption. You know, disruption doesn't start external, it starts internal. You have to really, really understand what needs to be disrupted first in yourself. And to do that, you have to know yourself, you have to understand yourself. We have to look at how people are responding to us in our lives. And then how we are reacting back to how people are responding or reacting to us. It's important to really see that first and then make mental notes or physical notes, pen to paper as to what you need to disrupt to improve who you are, to develop, which then mirrors into your business. It's never any other way. We never disrupt our business. We disrupt ourselves to disrupt our business. So we are the disruptors first. Now disruption in many ways is seen as a negative word when you disrupt something. But that, can, that depends on, that depends on the direction of that disruption. If you're disrupting out without giving any thought, then that's negative. If you're disrupting in through thought, through then creating a positive outcome, a positive event, then that disruption has purpose. Remember a video of two or three weeks ago, we talked about stubbornness and persistence. Now, when you're persistent, you create positive disruption but you can only do that in yourself. So really, you know, first of all, ask people around you, where do you think I need to improve? 
what part of me do you feel needs to change or needs to be disrupted in order for me to give the best version of myself forward? Then by giving that best version forward, then what you do is you create a better outcome, a more effective, productive, efficient outcome in your business. So move forward by looking inward. So you're almost if you have to look in and back to move forward and out. If that makes sense there. It's hugely important. Disruption starts in to create a positive business out. Always, never any other way. Happy days. Enjoy looking at who you are. Enjoy looking at the inner of who you are. And again, if you struggle, ask outwardly. Ask the people around you. Where do I need to disrupt in order to give you the best version of me, for my business to have the best version of me, for my business to have the best version of itself? Very simple, but can only be done with a healthy ego. Enjoy, happy days. Three full days, um, wild vanning, camping, um, yeah, call it what you wish, but three days of personal positive disruption for me, um, really pushing my boundaries in um, what is trust in decision making, trust in new decision making. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty private person and, and someone that, um, you know, understands the influences of imposter syndrome, um, for sure. So, you know, this weekend for me was really about um, putting myself in a position or in, in a situation that demanded I trusted um, a new decision making, a new style of decision making. And you may say, well, what has this got to do with business? You're in the van and, you know, you're, you're traveling and, um, and somewhat, you know, is that important decision making? We could say it wouldn't seem so in business, but in your personal life, you have to grow your trust level within your own choices. And that trust level then, how that influences um, your events, what's happening in your life. And what I mean by that is um, your circumstances, how you're creating your own circumstances. Um, and very much how you are um, influencing what are what is putting yourself into a situation, environment, opportunity, um, and all these positive things that um, make sure then that you are um, you know creating new new layers of productive thinking, ideas, values, and thinkability. So. Um, my first night was I parked myself up in a public car park that you could stay overnight on uh, quite a busy area, which meant that, you know, when you're, when you're on your own and you're kind of, and listen, I'm, I'm not a camping season person, you know, in the wild camping arena. Um, but when you're on your own in a, in a what is a public, busy public car park, then you do have you know, my imagination tended to run wild. It's like, you know, somebody going to knock on my door in the middle of the night. Uh, uh, is there going to be, you know, individuals that are going to, you know, create havoc for me? Um, you know, is somebody going to try pinching my bike off the back of the van on the bike stand? You know, bike rack. And all those things are going through my mind and effectively I ended up spooking myself. Um, but also what I learned was, it's like, Paul, you know, you've got to trust your own instincts and you've got to trust new instincts that you're bringing in. So I learned a lot, that, a lot of that about myself over this weekend, um, you know, by taking myself out on, in, you know, in a camper van and, and basically doing what everybody considers being an enjoyable event. And it was enjoyable, but I say I had practiced a lot of new trust um, decision making with myself. So I learned a lot about myself this weekend and how I can, I can convince myself that something, or oh, 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 put it another way. I understood how I can awfulize things that actually don't need awfulizing. Think about that, awfulizing, what a word, eh? When we awfulize something, we are not then creating positive disruption, we're actually creating a negative opportunity um, by imagining 
that something's gone wrong when it hasn't even gone wrong. So, you know, uh, I, learned, I learned a lot about that. So what I want you to do is, you know, consider what you're putting in front of you in order to create what is a quality disruption. We spoke about this earlier in the video, but um, I learned a lot about that this weekend. So, um, you know, if, if these videos are, are helping you, then please save this one. Save this one, put it into your folder, you know, and, and when you're looking for that, that look back onto, okay, I, I need, now I needed to create a disruption, come back to it and watch it over and over and over. You will get something new out of it each time you, you grow. Um, it's designed that way. And okay, um, give us a thumbs up, drop us, a, drop us a, a message. I'll always get back to people for sure. And also subscribe to the channel and I can keep um, filling your inbox with, um, you know, positive philosophy and business wisdom and lifestyle ideas that um, will help you um, become successful in your business lifestyle opportunities. So yeah, um, catch you next week. Have a great week and enjoy your positive disruption. <music>